Hey friends, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Neil, and in this channel we talk about uh, uniforms, jerseys, hockey, the NHL, all kinds of stuff, logos. So if you're new, we'd love to have you on board here. Hit the subscribe button down below. And in this video, we're gonna be talking to the New York Rangers and their new stadium series jersey. All four were released. New York Rangers was the first one that I saw, so it's the first video of the four that I'm going to do. The other three will be coming very, very soon on the channel, so I hope to see you in those as well. Let's bring up the photos as I saw them and go through this and give you my thought process on this jersey, or my thoughts and uh, how I processed um, each photo as, um, as I saw them, so let's bring it up. Okay, so this is the first one that I saw, and honestly, I didn't really have super high hopes for the Rangers. I don't know if the Rangers have ever had a total miss with the jersey. Their jersey history is fantastic. I can think of maybe one that I didn't really like that much, but in general, they've pretty much always hit home runs. But I just felt like they weren't going to hit a home run here. I felt like it was just going to be a very average jersey, or maybe less than average, because typically Stadium Series jerseys are bold by design. There's numbers on the shoulders, there's crazy big giant logos, they're all over the place. And when you do that with an original six team, like the Rangers, a very classic team, it can be risky. So I was a little bit worried about that, but I was so pleasantly surprised to see this. Not only was this the first jersey of the four that I saw, but it was also my favorite. I absolutely love this jersey. Typically, I don't love um, textual style uh, logos like this, or sorry, like this, <laughs> I mirrored. But I do like it when the teams use uh, fewer letters, so it doesn't say Islanders or Avalanche or Colorado. I can't remember actually if it was Avalanche or Colorado that was on that jersey, but you've got uh, the Bolts, like that's only five letters, that's okay. Vegas did it with five. Pittsburgh, too long. Uh, Rangers, too long. NYR, amazing. Sign me up for that. This looks really good. Love the stripes on the arms. That is so good. The numbers as well. Also, the numbers being red not blue, so red with a blue out outline or stroke versus the traditional one that we're used to. Same with the logo. I think that looks way better actually. It pops so much nicer on the white. Um, I think that looks just amazing. Great job on the logo and the numbers and the stripes and everything. Let's go to the next one. So you get the back of the jersey. So the nameplate is white. The text is blue. So it doesn't match the regular uh, numbers on the arms. It doesn't match the numbers on the back of the jersey which is a little bit disappointing, but it does look pretty good in blue because it also matches the Adidas logo up top there. Now the numbers being that big look good. I think that's okay. Um, I don't think I would like, based on these first two photos, I, at the time I thought, I don't think there's anything I would change about this, but let's continue. This is the next one that I saw. It was a bit of an, uh, you know, a side shot and I saw the shoulder patch up there. And I think there's another, yeah, there's another photo coming up. And uh, this was another one, you know, not really much to say about this one. This is just another one that they released. Uh, and then the next one was the, the nameplate on the back. I, I would say that if I'm being super, super critical, I don't necessarily like that it's at a bit of an angle. The Rangers by design is so such a rigid brand. And I mean, visually, the numbers are incredibly blocky. The text of the Rangers is a very like kind of uh, rigid and, and, and angular kind of font. You can, I mean, you can see it here as well that, that with that font. Why is there a bit of an arc to that to that uh, nameplate? I don't I don't really like that. I I, I I just want it flat, completely straight horizontal. I mean, I'm being very very critical there for no reason. The next photo here, we have a close up of the logo on the front, the big letters, and oh my god, it looks good. It looks so good. The way that the prime green logos have a little bit more emphasis physically and um, a little bit more depth. I love this. And there's even inner stitching or inner, uh, there's an inner pattern on the red part. So you get that mesh kind of style design in part of the red, but the other one is more like a, of like a vinyl and stuff. So I think that I would love to see this in person. I'm not gonna buy any, unfortunately, <laughs> but if I was gonna buy any, this would definitely be one of them. I, I I really hope I get to see this in person someday. Okay, the next photo here, you can see the shoulder patch. I don't, actually don't really like the shoulder patch that much. Um, it, individually, not really so much. I actually ranked all the Stadium Series uh, patches or and logos um, in a video, I think about three weeks ago. So if you would like to go see it, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. But this one was pretty low, if I'm not mistaken, in my ranking. It's okay, I just don't love it. And I don't think it looks great on the, lo on the uh, shoulder. The next photo was, um, this was just, you know, I think on the store photo or maybe their primary site actually. It's in different lighting, it's in proper lighting. Listen, NHL, Rangers, whoever's marketing, media team, organization is in charge of taking the photos. 
thank you for taking the photos that we just saw in the subway, but can you not <laughs> shoot them outside, shoot them anywhere, but in, in stupid warm lighting, okay? Like I wanna see it in proper lighting. I don't care that it's in a subway, it doesn't do anything for me. I wanna see that like as a jersey collector, I wanna see the best photos possible and the best lighting like this. Don't give me that subway crap. All right, that's my little rant. The next photo is, we're going back into the subway, okay? This is a comparison between the two jerseys that are going to face off the Islanders, which I'll obviously talk about pretty soon. Uh, I think that's gonna be the next video. That's gonna be the next video, which you'll see. But I think there is a massive contrast. I don't wanna really give away all of my opinion on the Islanders jersey, but I think personally, there is a massive difference between the two as far as which one is better and which one is worse. And I and reading the comments on Twitter and Discord and Reddit and you know all over the place, the popular opinion is also the same. Sometimes that hasn't happened with me. Sometimes my opinion is not the popular one. It's the very much unpopular one. But uh, luck is on my side here. And most people agree with me on this one from what I've read at least. I'm yet to read the comments obviously on this video, but I think one team dropped the ball here. <laughs> Don't want to name any names, but uh, yeah, one team dropped the ball here. So if I was going to rank this jersey, let me actually just bring back up one of the other photos here, or maybe the original one. If I was going to rank this jersey, I would say that this is a 9 out of 10 jersey. I don't think there's too much i change about it, obviously. The things that I would change about it are relatively insignificant, uh, and I don't necessarily know how to get it to a 10 out of 10. I don't know what would be a perfect jersey, but 9 out of 10 feels like a pretty appropriate rating. And yeah, I think they did a wonderful job. So um, round of applause for the New York Rangers. This is a fantastic jersey, and I can't wait to see it during the game and um, hopefully in person someday. So let me know down below in the comment section, how do you guys feel about this jersey? Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you absolutely, are you like, hey, are you in the minority? Or do you hate this jersey? And it's okay to hate this jersey. There's no right or wrong, but I would love to hear your opinions down below. And if you love it, or if you like it, or if you just collect jerseys, are you buying this one? I have a feeling a lot of people are. So thanks for tuning in. If you're new, please hit the subscribe button so we can talk more Stadium Series jerseys in the future and I can see you in those videos. But if you did like this video, please hit the like button and we'll talk to you very soon. Adios.